In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove window tint on the sides and the back of your vehicle. My name is Patrick. I'm a full-time window tender instructor and consultant. And as a full-time window tender, one of the biggest pains in the butts is removing window tint. But most of our clients don't know how to remove window tint correctly. So this video is not only for clients that want to save a buck and not get charged for removal, but this can also be for you tinters out there as well, that this is, can be a way for you to get remove window tint. Uh, most of the time window tint could be starting off at 150 bucks. I charge 200 and it can go up to, I've heard three, 350 for removal just because window tinters just pretty much hate doing it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove window tint using the trash bag method. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So first you want to go ahead and wet down the glass. You're going to take a trash bag and you're going to pretty much just cover the entire glass and all the way to the edge we're gonna the goal is to overlap everything all sides so we're just gonna cut the top edge on the sides and the side and go ahead and just finish off the cut next we're gonna slide the film excuse me we're gonna slide the trash bag up so we're gonna be overlapping the top and the back side by about two inches and then we're gonna go ahead and cut the other side and the bottom Real simple, real straightforward. Now, when you do a trash bag like this, then you have two because trash bags have two sides. Just go ahead and throw it in the car. And you're gonna repeat the process for the back door and for the back quarter. I just went ahead and sped up the video just so, uh, so you guys can see, but you guys get the gist. Back quarters, same concept. We're looking for overlapping, overlapping the edges. Now here, we're just gonna go ahead and wet the glass down and we're gonna overlay the film, um, the trash bag over the top edge by about two inches or so. We cut it big. We just wanna make sure it's overlapping on the sides as well. Once you get the top up, go ahead and roll it all the way up, wet down the glass. This is just regular water, soapy water. Take a credit card or a hard card and just go ahead and tuck the edges. That way we get it all the way to the edge. This is going to prep us for removal. Again, I did the same thing, just sped up the back end, but you guys understand the gist. From here, you're going to lay the car outside 15 to 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So now after the car has been out in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes, put your hand on it. If it's hot to touch, you're good to go. Turn the car on, crack the window and get some sort of tool. And just start at the top now you don't want to pull all the way off or all the way just you want to pull with it because everything else gets like dries up really quickly and then like it's it makes it, it like it sticks again so just grab an edge and start pulling and if you're lucky it pulls off all the adhesive and the film like that same thing with the back pull just a little get some sort of tool now film comes in two layers so you might just catch the first layer and the dark layer might still be there so just make sure you grab both layers because the second layer is thinner um, so it's a little bit harder to pull off and more more possibility of it breaking and then being a pain in the butt to take off Now we got lucky here, no adhesive was left over, but you can use a strong degreaser if the, uh, if the adhesive still remains. Uh, just leave it for about five minutes. Don't leave it in the sun because some degreasers will etch the glass, but drive it inside, spray it with uh, some sort of degreaser, and then uh, wait five minutes and then you can hit it with a razor blade. But uh, we got lucky on this one. Came off pretty clean. You're going to see some adhesive 
marks where you where you started the peel, but that's pretty much it. All right, moving on to the back glass. Uh, just try to get some sort of flat surface, and we're gonna put a trash bag up. You want to just cut the sides, leaving the opening on the bottom, and leaving the connected at the very top. Just closing the, oh, cutting off the sides so you get just one long piece of garbage bag. Go ahead and wet down the back glass. And we're looking for full coverage. There is a ceramic coating, the black ceramic coating around the edge. What we want to do is we want to go past that edge. Mostly importantly, we want to make sure it's definitely covered on the bottom. You can kind of paste it together with scraps at the top, but the bottom is most important. So that's what I'm doing right here. Once you do that, just go ahead and cut the trash bag. And again, we're going outside the ceramic coating. We want the, the pattern bigger, same thing as the doors. All right, for the back window, I'm gonna move some stuff around here. I'm gonna try to get as much access as you can to the back window. If you can, take off the headrests. It'll just make your life a little bit easier. If not, no big deal. Just gotta work around it. Regular water, just gonna spray it down. I get it down to the bottom, cover everything. It's just regular water. Now I have a special tool used by tinters, um, but you can legit use the spatula. We did cut it big, so you're just gonna lay it on top first and the water will hold it against the glass. And then you just wanna push down, making sure that the overhang is over the top and over the sides. That's really what you want for full coverage. Then when you get to the bottom, just go ahead and push it with your tool or a spatula, whatever you have, and this will get it to the bottom. It's better to do it this way than trying to trying to to feed it from the bottom up because it's just it's just harder. Trust me. You want to push it all the way to the bottom. That way, it's covering all the film. Makes it a little bit easier. Then you take a card, a credit card, and hard card. And you're just gonna try to tuck the overhang and the water will hold it against the glass. Now you're good to go. From here, uh, you wanna back it up and get it so it's, so it's uh, the back window is getting the sun and same process as the size. You're just gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes, wait until it's hot to the touch and then you'll be ready to, uh, we'll be ready to uh, peel. So I'll show you that next. All right, now that's been in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes-ish, uh, we'll go inside and start peeling her. Uh, I have a stick tool thing here, but you just wanna find something with a hard edge that you can start peeling the corner. Yep, that's hot to the touch. Um, uh, just peel a corner of the trash bag and then just start Peel in the corner here, again, grabbing both layers, not just the first layer. And you wanna just start peeling away. Again, don't pull the trash bag off, just start pulling, it'll pull off when you start pulling the tent. And looks like we got lucky. Adhesive's coming off with it. Notice how I'm pulling, so it kinda comes at an angle, so you don't like yank it at a weird angle, and uh, you could smear adhesive and then you have to go in there and get it. It's kind of a pain in the butt, so. Just do it like I'm doing it right here. Kind of pull a little bit, use your hand to help guide it off the glass. Get as close to the bottom as you can. This vehicle has a third brake light in the middle, so it's gonna be kind of like a work around there. And then you can just go all the way to the bottom, keep pulling, and then the bottom will release. You don't want to yank it, you don't want to force it, it'll come. Just take your time. It's gonna be hot. Just like that. All the tints off, no adhesive. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, fairly easy. <clears throat> the really basic thing is, is like, so if you're not a window tinner, it's just straight water bottle and some soapy water, 95% um, water, maybe a little bit of, of baby shampoo. That's really the, all the, the liquid that I'm using. Spray bottle, credit card. You are gonna need maybe like a box cutter to help cut the film or the trash bag actually around the windows but that's pretty much it so this works best if the vehicle or the window tint is not more than seven years old if you see those window the window tint that's been like bubbly this is a possibility to do this um the sides are definitely doable you might need a razor blade for that but the back window might be a little bit more difficult because window tint gets brittle over time especially after seven years that's typically the uh, the lifespan of window tint um, if that's the case then when you're pulling it off you may need to use a steamer uh, but i've heard that people can take that off if you soak it overnight and then come back to it the next day and you use the steamer then it could help remove the the really really far gone window tint so we're trying to avoid having to scrape the back window with razor blades and losing the defrosters so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you use this method and uh, and you do it right, you can save yourself hundreds of dollars at a tint shop for, for not having to do removal fees. Um, and if you're a window tint shop watching this, then, um, then this might be an easier way for you to do removals. So thank you again, guys. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.